Royal College of Radiologists, which is our overarching governing and educational body, realised that we weren't training anything like enough radiologists for the, for the service needs of the country. Traditionally, it's consultants, books and film libraries are the learning resource. So e-learning offered us a chance to use another way of training and take the pressure off some of the, uh, the trainers whilst doing something innovative. We were given our witty passwords, etc., on the first day of starting work. There are hundreds and hundreds of modules on it to, to work through. Once you finish the module, you can leave a rating system on there, um, and that essentially allows you to star it out of five. Most topics in radiology are covered, so it's quite comprehensive. Trying to find time to study is very difficult, so whatever time I have, that's the best time. Well, the benefits are that they can do some of the learning at a time that suits them. You can go away and you can look up things for yourself or if you've heard about something in your clinical work placement you can go away and look it up um, and it's also up to date. The really good thing about it is I can use it at home. From day one we are able to use it at home. I work part time so I can do it in the evening and I can access it from wherever I want across the world. I think the major benefit um, of using the RITI, that it's on demand. Essentially you can have hundreds of people using the modules at the same time so it's not dependent on um, one lecturer trying to teach a big group of people. I go to it whenever I you know, may be stuck in something or I'm not quite sure. It's very good, it provides both knowledge but also practical advice for a day-to-day -day job. So it's a general raising of standards um, at times that are convenient to people that's been very useful here. One way that it's helped the whole team is that there is much more interaction between each of them. They are more knowledgeable at, a, at an earlier stage than they would have been prior to prior to e-learning. We had 16 in the first cohort and then 13 in the, the three years that have followed that which is slightly more than double. The model that we have established for this blended solution is that e-learning supports the clinical learning process. E-learning will gradually permeate through training and become more and more important. Mm -hmm.